What's up guys? Just wanted to uh, take a minute to thank you all for tuning in to the Freedom 500 last night. It was the craziest drive I've ever been on, dude. Like some of the most savage driving I've ever seen. Um, and I want to thank you guys too for the positive criticism that we've gotten. Well, I guess just any type of criticism, you know, we try and take it as positive as we can here because at the end of the day, nobody else owns this show but us. So we can change anything however we want. And, you know, for those of you who were disappointed in the stream and, you know, don't think it was worth your money, we are going to set up an email that I'll have pinned in the comments below later that you can go and ask for a refund at because at the end of the day, this isn't about the money. This is about putting on a good show for you guys and improving it. And, you know, I, I know people had some stream issues and things like that, which I was really hoping to uh, just knock it out of the park, but it's only our fourth one. So things happen. Um, and then as far as the show went, there were some people that were wore out about uh, Spencer kind of over talking the other announcers. That's, you know, that's an easy fix. That's some things we can work on the type of stuff that you guys say in the comments, you know, I read, I read all night and then I stayed up and I watched the freedom 500 so I could see exactly what you're talking about. And I get it. And I talked to Spencer and then something was said about, uh, Haley Deegan. And, you know, I instantly reached out to her and just said, Hey, sorry, you know, hope you're not upset. And freaking, she's so cool, man. Like she said, I don't care at all. And here's the text. She's we need more people like Haley Deegan in, in this world. So we make mistakes and we overcome and we make the show better. You know what I mean? It was, I think it was awesome in a lot of ways, but it needs work in a lot of ways. You know, just, just based on a lot of the comments last night, like overcomplicating the stream with too many angles and stuff. I get it, man. Like that can be annoying. So today for the burnout contest, we're just going to make things as simple as possible. One, maybe two camera angles. And uh, I'm going to be doing most of the announcing with Deanda and, it's just, we're gonna, we're gonna try and listen to you guys and act on it as quickly as we can. It was our fourth pay-per-view ever. You know what I mean? We're not on our, uh, I don't know even what the UFC is up to, but think about their first ones, you know, and we're battling through that. We don't really have some sort of major guide to this thing that helps us totally just knock it out of the park every time, but we're absolutely trying and we take all your guys' comments to heart and you know, just want to make the show better and better every time. I think the drivers were insane and I can't believe how savage they were. I thought it was going to be a, some more clean racing, but, uh, dude, it was awesome. So if you guys go onto the website and you already paid for the pay-per-view, you can actually rewatch it now. And if you had bugs on your pay-per-view last night, I'm really sorry. And you can watch the complete show now. But like I said, guys, we will be posting an email eventually in this comments i don't know if it'll be today because i have to get the track set up for these and cars burnout competition that stream is really gonna get going today around uh four o'clock five o'clock is when the action begins so i hope you guys can tune in for that too thank you guys for bearing with us you know obviously we don't have any intentions of you know putting on a poor show for you guys or anything so those of you who had issues it you know it hurts my heart i really do apologize but uh we'll make it up to you and make an even better show to come and i think today will be fun so thank you guys we'll see you later